Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a mass update in AppSheet. If you have already an existing AppSheet app, and let's say you added an extra column or a new column to calculate the values. So in this example here, this is my fleet. And in the database, let's say I'm going to add a new column here. And then I'm going just to name this column, let's say, rent okay so here so this is my rent per day for example and i would like to calculate here the values here i would like to put the values here based on this so let's say i'm going to calculate value amount divided by 365 let's say like that so since i added an extra column in my app i'm going to regenerate the table structure all right so now as you can see the rent per day is empty and the formula that I would like to calculate is I'm going to put the up formula here it's basically just the value amount <clears throat> divided by 365 so this is the calculation and this will be price and that's correct so as you notice I already added the formula in the app, uh, in inside the app formula and still there is no calculation here all right so it will only have a calculation once you edit save then it has a calculation and also it will update in the database but I would like to do a one-time mass update let's say I have already hundreds of thousands of rows in my database and I cannot do one one by one you know uh, edit save edit save in order to calculate so how to do a mass update all right so I will show you how to do that first I'm going to remove this because we're going to do a mass update a one-time mass update and I'm going to remove the up formula first later on I'm going to return it once the mass update is done let's go to the automation let's create a boot and here let's say I'm going to name this as mass update so this is only a one-time mass update guys so let's say I'm going to name this again as mass update. And here, instead of data change, you choose schedule. So in the schedule, you can select any of this. So you can select hourly, daily, weekly, whatever you would like. So in this example, let's say I'm going to choose daily. Then for each row of the table, you have to enable this. Okay, you can uh, uh, put some certain conditions. But in this example application, since we are doing a very simple mass update, so keep it like that make sure that the filter condition here is not empty if you don't have any filter condition so better keep keep it it, it is equals to true all right then add a step see I'm going to name this as well mass <clears throat> update then here you need to select run a data action so if you created a behavior action so you can select any of that action that you created or otherwise you can directly put the formula inside the automation here so I'm going to update the rent per day as per our database here all right so the rent per day is basically just the value amount divided by 365 so that will be the calculation and then I'm going to save all right, so you will gonna have a warning here because the app is not deployed, but it's fine. We can still run a mass update in, in our app sheet. So as you can see, this the, the rows is up to 100 and the column rent per days are empty. To do a mass update, all you have to do is just in the automation. And since we created our boot, you can just click run. All right, so let's try. As you can see guys it's automatically populated the values 
in each row so you don't need to go uh, one by one edit goes like that so once you've done the mass update all you have to do is in the automation you need to remove this and then you can now uh, put the app formula in your newly added column so that the new entries will calculate automatically all right as you can see so let's try to add new entries all right see let's say all right going to the database see it's added automatically all right so that's how to do a mass update in AppSheet if you learned something in this video don't forget to subscribe or comments if you have any questions thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video